Hey, Andrea, how you doing? All right, let's go ahead and and jump in here. Um, I'll address a lot of this in, in my critique, but there's a, I think there's a lot of things that we can do to the ad to make it a little bit more effective. So um, let's just go ahead and jump right into the ad itself, which I, I got it up. What did I do with it? Oh, gosh, I don't know what I did with it. I, I'll just, let me just download it. Um, oh, wait a second. It was, oh, I remember now. There's a reason why I don't have it open. I wanted to show you what happens when I open it. So I've got it downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And when you see when I open it, I get this warning. And the warning right here says missing fonts. Um, and what this is saying is that this is saying that the fonts that you used in your ad, I don't have them on my machine. Therefore, they're being replaced with default fonts um, that I do have on my machine. So this is the reason why we submit as a PDF uh, or a JPEG. Additionally, it indicates that you're not using the required typefaces from um, the requirements in the Amethyst Space Style Guide. I'm going to close this and let's jump over here. And right now, let's go to the headline. It looks like the, the headline is set in Arial Black. Now, the headline should be set in Arial Bold, not Arial Black. The subhead should be set in Arial Bold Italic, and the body copy should be set in Arial Regular. Right now, you're set in Calibri, so you'll want to definitely get your, your typefaces correct, corrected. Um, now, the image itself, the background image, I, I don't think it's working. I, I think it's working against you, as a matter of fact. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out here just a little bit. Let me check one thing. Okay. Excuse a little bit of background. Okay. So, basically, you've got this masked image that you're using. It's a shelf. And I think the, the most immediate thing that one would say when they look at this ad is, what is the connection between a shelf and Amethyst Bay? And that to me is, is it creates a, an enormous amount of visual tension in the ad because there is no connection between um, your, your client and this image of the shelf. Now, sure, the image has some amethyst crystals on it. So there are some connections, but when the viewer looks at this, they're not going to put those together. My recommendation here is this. Use a background image that has a beach. I'm going to jump over to the announcements area. and We have these wonderful examples that I posted. And there are so many of them you can take a look at to really see how to set up page mechanics. These all follow the same prescribed um, format where we have the headline, the subhead, the body copy, the mask image, the main image, the contact information and the logo. And that's a really great setup. And I'd like to see you kind of mimic that same kind of configuration in your work here. Um, so again, the main thing at this point is to get, let's get a background image here. You could still use the key as your masked image. That's great. That's correctly embedded. That's fantastic. But let's get a beach image in here and then compile. What I want you to do is give your headline, and give us subheads. Oh, I'm, this is just going to be an example. So holistic healing only at Amethyst Bay, right? Then take this 20% and combine it with this. I think you're a little text heavy here, but just give a paragraph, a written paragraph about uh, describing the promotion. And then go back to this kind of format where you've got this, this wonderful, expansive, expansive background image. You've got your type set accordingly right on the image. Then you've got your logo and your masked image. I think that's a great configuration. I recommend that. If you would like to resubmit, I'll, there's, I would be glad to look at anything that you want to resubmit. If you need help compiling a, a new ad, I, I'll be glad to do that as well. But again, the main general format is this. Well, I, I do want to say your, your, your file is set up beautifully. You've got your image pulled to your bleed guys. You've got your bleed guys set up. You've got your correct three layers. Um, although you do have an extra background layer. So you, what, basically what you should have is you should have key and background is combined in one layer called images. So you would really have only three images, text, logo, and um, um, uh, text, logo, and images. Okay, and then so you get the main background image, headline, subhead, promotional paragraph, logo, masked image. Okay, try it. I think you'll like it. I think it'll be a lot more effective too. But the most important thing right now at this point is to get with me if, you, if you're not understanding anything. And if you need help, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you compile your magazine ad. All right, thank you very much.